this is what my room looked like before. I did really like my room, but I feel like my style has changed a lot and it just didn't really reflect me anymore. I kind of grew out of it. The way it was arranged also made the space feel a lot smaller and it looked really cluttered. I never really liked this corner with my dresser and I didn't like where my desk was and how it was set up. I also had this wall of photos that was totally falling apart. So this winter break, I finally decided to take the time to do a makeover to make it a room I actually liked. As you can see, my room used to be this teal color that's been peeking through the way ever since we painted it last time. So I'm finally going to fix it and I decided I might as well just paint the whole room again. So this is my first time painting a room and let me tell you, it is extremely tiring. My arms were burning. I'm also very weak, so that's probably why. It was also just super boring, but luckily I had my mom helping me. So thank you mom, because I don't think I would have finished without her. So update, this is the progress. It's the next day and all the paint is dry. I think it just looks so much brighter and more crisp. So this is what the paint ended up looking like. So my parents and I took a little road trip and drove two hours to the nearest Ikea because there's unfortunately none where I live. But it's okay because I love Ikea. It's literally a theme park for furniture. It's so fun to look around. But I picked out my new bed and I'm so excited about it. And Ikea always has some cute decorations. So I picked up a few other items as well. It's time to get this old bed out of here so I can make this new bed. Wish me luck. Me and my dad finished the bed and I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so cute. Oh my gosh. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I moved in all the main pieces of furniture and I think I like this setup. I do like how there's just like this little corner over here and I mean the TV does kind of like look weird with the mirror here but, but the TV kind of has to stay there. So today I have a few little things I want to do. I want to spray paint the curtain rods black because I think it just tie in with the bed really well. I also got this little crate from Ikea that I want to stain. Um, and I think I'm gonna flip it over and possibly I know this seems kind of weird But possibly use it as like a bedside table, but I think it would look better in a darker wood color So I got stain from Home Depot What the
So I found most of these prints on Pinterest and some of them are Matisse paintings that I got printed to create a wall collage like I see all the time on Pinterest. My vision for my room was to have some very unique looking decor pieces, so the perfect place to find those is the thrift store, of course. And I also had to check out Target as well because they always have really cute home decor. I also wanted my room to have a very earthy feel, so that calls for lots of plants. So I did a little plant shopping. Finally on to the fun part, decorating. I got this really cool Beatles poster from Amazon and I thought it would go perfectly right above my dresser. I think I rearranged things like 20 times because I couldn't decide how I wanted things to look. So the way I decorated on camera isn't even how some of it ended up looking in the end because I went back and rearranged it again. In this corner with the mirror, the little rug I got from Target fit perfectly. And I also like decorating with records and books. So I filled this corner up with those. For my shelves, again, I had a lot of books that I wanted to fill it up with as well as some plants and other little decorations here and there. And I also used the bottom shelf for my record player. For my desk, I got this spice rack thing, but I used it to hold my skincare, some makeup, makeup brushes, and perfumes. I basically ran out of space for plants, so I resorted to hanging them from my ceiling. I drilled holes for hooks. The last thing I had to do was put up some LED lights because I like to have some mood lighting in my room at night. The room makeover is finally finished, so now I'm gonna show you how it turned out and give you the final reveal. amazing it looks better than i ever even imagined it would the vibes in here are so good i feel like it definitely reflects my personality more and i feel so much better in this room now that you've seen the final reveal i'm going to give you the tour this is what behind my door looks like now I put up these black hooks to replace the silver ones and I think it matches the room a lot better. I just have some bags. I have this little camera bag, my favorite cheetah fluffy bag from Dreamscape USA on Depop, this cool tote bag, and then I just have this fuzzy black bag. Moving on, we have my closet. And again, there's not really much going on here. Then I have my beautiful little rug that I got from Amazon. I honestly think this is 
one of the best parts of the room and I'm actually amazed at how well it turned out. I have this white shelving unit that I got from Ikea and it was in my last room and I have this white little desk that was also in my last room and they're actually the same style so I decided to push them together to make it like a little unit this time. I have this little plant stand with a pothos in it or pothos. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say it. I have a lot of like wild pothos growing in my yard so I actually took a cutting and that's what this one is and I put it in here during quarantine and look how long she has gotten she has grown so much so on this top level I have my new jewelry stand which I think looks so good then I have this stack of Vogue magazine on top I have this candle that I think my dad actually got from Aldi I don't really want to burn it because it will literally burn the leaves off of this plant which as you can see it is already doing pretty badly <laughs> so i actually just got this cutting from my yard this is a peace lily and it was already like this i didn't kill it but i really like this pot i found it in my backyard so this is the next level and i just have a bunch of books here we have miss alana del rey's book to kill a mockingbird in cold blood emma i have another pothos i don't have a pot for it yet so it's just kind of in this plastic container and then we have more books right here so on top is my DSLR camera. I have this glass decanter that my mom got from the thrift store and she has a bunch of these. They're really pretty so she said I could use this one for my room and I think it looks really good there. I have this little mug and it has a heart on one side and it has a cat on the other side which is perfect because I love cats and it just has this little arrowhead plant in it. On this level we have more books. I have this random disco ball here that I've had forever. I have this glass box on top that I actually got from Ikea and I just have some essential oils inside. I have this rustic looking mason jar with these ginormous pothos leaves inside. This is what happens when you have pothos, pothos, I'm sorry, I don't know what it is, growing up your tree outside. It starts to get huge. So, oh god, there's a fly. Then on the last level, I have my record player. This is the Audio-Technica Bluetooth record player. And I have a few records right here. This crystal geode thing that I'm kind of using to stand the records up. But moving on to the desk, I have this black spice rack that I actually got from Amazon. And I'm using it to hold like my skincare and makeup, some makeup brushes. I got this little whiskey glass from Ikea. And on top, I have some perfumes and just a pair of sunglasses. Next to it, I have my Himalayan salt lamp. And I have a few things from Glossier. I have some balm coms and a cloud paint Then there's this mason jar of paint brushes and like paint tools here because I was actually doing something with my friends the other day that I needed to get this out and then I put it there and I thought it looked kind of cute I'm not an artist and I don't really paint that much but we're gonna pretend I do because it looks cute and then I just have a makeup mirror that I've had for a really long time it's from Costco I got this super cute black chair from world market and it was on sale and I feel like it matches so perfectly with the rest of the room above the desk I have this wall calendar there's not really much going on um, besides like school I actually start school today I have a class in like 30 minutes um, and I'm going back to my dorm on Saturday. And then this is one of the prints that I got printed at FedEx. It's a tarot card or tarot card. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but um, I really liked this one and I just think it's a really pretty print. And one of my favorite parts of my room is I have these big beautiful windows to shed in lots of light so um, above the windows I have some hanging plants I have this fern and I'm honestly not sure what this kind of plant is I thought it was like a type of pothos but I don't think it is and then I have this plant as well, which I'm not really sure what this is either. So next to my desk, I actually have this little crate on the floor that you saw me kind of 
DIY. I'm actually using it as like a little bedside table and I know it's kind of short for my bed, but it does the job. On my little nightstand, I have this snake plant. I have my Alexa and then I have this essential oil diffuser. This is the bed area. It turned out so well. I think the bed is so cute and the wall above the bed turned out so well. My white duvet cover is from Target and this fuzzy leopard or cheetah pillow, I'm not sure, is from Target as well and it's so soft and it looks so cute here. This is the wall. I have this picture of Harry Styles. I have this print that says art should comfort the disturbed and disturb the comfortable. Wow, so inspiring. This is another print I found from Pinterest. I found this on Pinterest as well and it says Virgo, which is perfect because I'm a Virgo. I have a few Polaroids right there. I have this Matisse painting, this Matisse painting, and that Matisse painting. And then this one just says green is groovy, which I thought was really cute. This little strip here is actually from a contact sheet that I made for film pictures. So these were like some of the negatives. And then we have the guitar on the wall, which I think looks so good. And it's perfect because there wasn't really a lot of space for it, so this saves space. Then we have another big window right here. And on the windowsill, I have a bunch of little plants that I am propagating. Next to the bed, I have this little corner with my mirror right here. I think this corner looks super, super cute. I am obsessed with this rug. I found it at Target. I have my mirror, which was in my last room, and I love it. I think it's so pretty. The only weird thing is, is that my TV is kind of like in the way, but I can't really move it, so it's fine. Just kind of have to deal with it. So on the ground next to my mirror, I have some more of my records. Smiths, more Smiths, Igor, Harry. Cure. Kind of keep them in place. I have this little mason jar that I planted a snake plant from my yard in a really long time ago, and look how big it's gotten. Like, uh, it's so big. Next to the records, I have this stack of books with my film camera on it. So next to the mirror, I have my TV, and I did this off camera, but I actually got this cord cover, and it looks so much better. Then I have this big palm, and yeah, she is really big. I might need to trim some branches off because it's kind of just like going everywhere. I think it's a majesty palm. And again, it just adds to the greenery in my room. I have a little trash can right there. This is another part of my room that I think looks so good. It is my dresser. So I ended up changing the knobs with these black ones to match these ones kind of. And I put up my big Beatles poster, which I think looks so good there. And I love the poster. I got this lamp from Target as well as the shade, but I really like the base. It's like this glass. And I have this quartz cluster geode thing. I have this little glass box that I got at an antique shop doesn't really have much inside i have a few books and i'm holding them up with this salt lamp that i actually got from five below i have this glass dish which i am just storing some crystals in i have one of my favorite scents burning right now which is nog champa i'm not sure if i said that right please correct me and then i have some of my favorite crystals and i have some like vases and candles i have this green one from ikea these two little tea light candle holders are from ikea as well the white candle is from the dollar store and then i have this cool funky vase that's from ikea as well i have these two little dishes here i actually thrifted this one and i just have some rings and my little vivian westwood necklace and then i have some more rings in this one and shout out to mckenna salazar because she did a little target tiktok haul and she showed this dish in it and i had to get it and then i have another pothos here in this little woven basket that's from ikea this mirror right here is actually a perfume tray that i just kind of flipped on its side so that i could use it as a mirror because i thought it looked really cool like that and the next two my dresser I just have my laundry basket